Young, uh, the old Lockheed 10 Electra. Before there was a Electra, Lockheed Electra, the four-engine beast, mighty beast, there was this aircraft. Today we're going to fly this up to one of the other airports around this area. Ooh, that's my dog. There'll be clips by somebody. No, we want what we want. Not a flight computer. Not the back of it. Well, this one, oh yeah, I forgot this plane doesn't have a GPS. Yeah, this one doesn't have a GPS. So this will just have to go manually. Cape. Canaveral. Let's taxi out to the to the runway here. Lockheed 10 was made in the 1930s and the 40s. Designed, I think, in the 1930s and built in the 1940s. I, I can't exactly tell you the answer. We're flying out of um, Cape Canaveral something skid runway. This was used in the in the World War uh, World uh, in different factions, but more in the space space shuttle with the rockets and stuff. That they would the engines would s or the missiles would s would skid on the runway or something like that. Not like they blow up, like not not missiles, but like 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 blow up and missiles, but like more like missiles that uh, for like spaceships and stuff, spaceship missiles, rockets and stuff, right? Rockets, but yeah. So this is Cape Canaveral, pretty much. Kind of a this area is kind of like a no-fly zone, but flights them you can't really control that. All right, we're gonna take off here. I wouldn't strongly advise in the real world not to, to use where you don't talk to the ATC. Okay, better flaps down a little bit. There we go. We're just going to follow the, the line here. We're using real uh, FS Real WX. Real world weather. Should be able to lift her off any second now. Ba really bad takeoff here. We're at two frames a minute, two frames a second, or two frames, yeah. So we're really slow. There we go. Gear up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Gear up. Flaps up. Do a little. The last time I did this little flight, it was just a little test, test flight. I did. The sound didn't come through. Ew, I gotta get this. There's no. There's really stagnant air here. I'm just gonna take a little flight somewhere. Oh, it's really cold there. There we go. Oh, it's the coast here. Follow the coast a little bit. I don't know where we're gonna end up, but just we'll just follow the coast somehow. It's nice little beaches. Beautiful little sight, little evening to fly around Cape Canaveral, Florida. Oh. I wish I could get a little bit more frame rates. There we go. There's the airport I was at just a second ago. The lonely little Lockheed L10A. Sorry. It's kind of like the the Beechcraft aircraft, uh, Beechcraft 18. There we go. I think I'm dry enough now. Sun's going down.
Okay. Showing me it's not showing me as live for some reason. Hmm. Oh, I'm live. Just isn't showing up. We're not flying. We're not. We're we're not flying Vero Beach. This is um. Could we actually go to Vero Beach? I don't know where Vero Beach is from here, but let's kind of continue the the skyline here and find some airports or find something to fly to. Nearest airport, Cape Canaveral. Okay, L landings facility, Space Coast Regional. This is the ah. This is where that where you, they they launch the launch space shuttles. You can't come here in the real world because it's a no fly zone. But we I was I was thinking these are runways, but this is actually where they they launch the plant. They don't launch it right. Mm-hmm. Which yeah, this is the launch zones. There's where they, there's the runway that they, not they take up, that, that they can move down to. There we go. That's fun. I always wanted to know where these were. The launch zones. Okay. Yeah, it's showing me live now. One thing to do if you actually have that problem is to go is to restart the app and then yeah, then you then you're good. This is the Lockheed Ten at the Electra. Doesn't help. It's a nice view, but the panel. Oh yeah. Okay. Wait just a sec. It's coming up. It's coming up. Might be a great little view if I can get it to completely show up. No. Okay. Yeah. We're just gonna fly for fun for a bit until we get tired flying. Okay. Cape Canaveral. Cape.
Check the. Uh, that's the one in there somewhere is the national NASA. Okay. Trade Wind Zero Dome. Looking fine. This kind of aircraft does not do more than like two or three hundred kilometers or two hundred, two three hundred miles to the gallon, pretty much. Oh. Oopsie. I don't know why I've got no like really low frame rates. Yeah, there we go. I've gotten a little too uh, far to see here. It's not that far, but like I'd like to just move back around the to the coast here. Lose some of the sun, but I'm all good. There we go. A little faster. Hi Randy. It's an interesting panel. Sometimes I forget to look up here. This is all engine fuel, left tank, whatever. Here, altimeter, 4,000 feet.
Okay, let's find our way to, um... Let's find our way to something. I can still fly to the, during the night, but I just don't want to fly too much. It's going to be hard. I don't have a GPS. So let's find something... Something close by here. Bruce Creek... Let's, let's go to KEVB. If this plane had a, a GPS, I could, I could just keep going until it wanted to stop. A little on to, towards the land, the land here. Actually, I'm not going to go to that airport. I'll just fly this this way until I see a an airport. I have no GPS for this air, this flight. Big, I hope. Not seeing any airports in my distance. Oh, I see a light out there somewhere. Okay. See an airport just ahead of me. I'm going to put it right there. Yeah, I see a, I see a, a runway here. I see it. It's coming up. It's got ILS on it, so it's it must be a big name one. Okay, waiting for the. Wait. We're waiting for the. Uh, there we got the green. Three green. Flaps down one. Landing light on. 
got lights, it just doesn't have any GPS. And I can outfit it with a with a GPS and change the the views from the map monitor or the whatever it is the the flight computer thingy to this. Nobody said it was easy. Mm -hmm. Flaps again, yeah. So it doesn't have a GPS, then we better get down. Whoa. There we are. Who's that? Oh, oh hey Randy. Yeah, I went in the trip to the downstairs and came back and like, took one couple more. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it is weird. Well, I have to do it. It's close. It's good. It works. It works. How are you today? I'm doing alright. How about yourself? Uh, not, not bad at all. I'm just doing a little flight in the Lockheed 10 around um, Cape Canaveral area. Oh, okay. Up to I'm just, but I'm just in a Lockheed 10, but it's I don't have a GPS, so it's um I'm just gonna land at this random airport here. K E V B. V is in Victor and B is in Bruce. EVB. Yeah, I see where we're going here. Sun's going down, it's just beautiful. Just that ma that haze on the on the on the horizon. Oh, okay. No. I don't think so. Okay, I'm turning final here. How's your weather there? Interesting. Interesting. Oh, K D E D. I'm actually a Twitch stream here at the, at the moment. Yep. Actually, I'm about to land at KDED. Is a D is in Dave, Edmund, uh, E is in Edward, and, and D again is in Dave. So 
just the guy I'm talking to online. I'm on final here. Five mile final. What a beautiful little plane. Beautiful little sky. Beautiful little night. I have a bit of a turn to the right here when I get on approach when I get really on approach here. When I get reproaching. Forget. Mm-hmm. Oopsie. That was a stupid landing. I wanted more of that landing. More professionally kind of thing. What is going on here? Okay, let me just go back in the cockpit, turn the landing lights off. I've landed. That was a little well. It alright. Mm -hmm. Twitch. Mm -hmm. Have a hole. I apologize everyone to my landing, that was just crass. That was just whoa. That was just stupid. End of my taxing skills here, it's I wanted something a little bit more realistic, but I I I'm just terrible. Not in a rush, I'm just kind of... There we go. Sun's kind of going down. Somewhat. Okay. We're gonna just gonna pull up and find a, a parking spot. Or if this is wide enough, this is is this just a, this is just a taxiway or is this a parking spot? No, this is a parking spot. This this could be a parking spot. Looks more like a par taxiway, but I don't think there's any lines going to it. So let's just what we'll do is just do it my little way of turning around. Oh, we're down. Yeah, that was just shit. Okay. Yeah, Pito. Battery off. And how do I? Where's my engine controls? Okay. Engine. Oh yeah. Go. There we go. 
Say again, Rick, or Randy? No, I was just, I was just asking you how you doing. Oh, I'm just taxiing after the runway. Where are you flying to? Miami to New York. Uh, sweet. Atlantic, actually, no, not New York. Atlantic City, New Jersey. Oh, sweet. What state is Atlantic City in, anyways? I'm sorry, what? What state is Atlantic City in? Atlantic City, New Jersey. Oh, okay. It's across the Hudson River from New York. Oh, okay. Atlantic City. Shit. Alright, I'd like to thank anyone who's been watching me the last little bit. Thank you so much for following and watching. We will check you out next time. This has been a bit of a historic past few days with, with Twitch streaming is, is going into the horse historic aircraft. And just the anything like, I'm going to remove the stream I have that I have where there's no sound and just replace it with this one.